came up with that expression, you know, doing things in the dark and keeping it secret. And, and so there's a lot of truth in, in sort of just, you know, casual mm -hmm. expressions and, and casual things that we know. And it's the time to, to bring all that into focus and realize these things are really, really important. Yeah. And so I think a way to health is to spend, you know, a number of 20 minutes, a couple of hours in the sun every day, glancing at the sun, acknowledging the sun, realizing that those rays not only provide vitamin D and sustain our body and blood and bones, but they're giving us information and that information travels on, on light rays. And that's so important and it's a two-way thing. We can communicate with the sun and just express our feelings or, or whatever, but there's, it's, it's, not, it's not like worshiping God or anything like that. I think that my concepts of create, creator and source and all that, they're so large that I can't define it into a god, so to speak, right. especially a male god. Right. Because how can, you know, there's always the female component and that's really another thing that's vastly missing from our planet is that women are awakening and unfortunately so many women think they have to awaken into this feminism that turns them into men and they lose their beauty and they lose the whole idea of producing beauty and, and embodying life and protecting life when I think a part of a woman's role is to really take on that goddess energy yes. and to embody it and to value life and to use the intuition right. and, to, and to really make a stance in society about establishing beauty and fairness and that all life is honored and that's what's coming back. You know? It is coming back and also with great resistance here you have ever more expanding technology very male oriented in its expression and also in its design and yet it affects all of us because now we're all becoming dependent on those technologies exactly, and, I was and now we're cut away from the sun even more. How do you see that technological interface as the feminine really needs to show itself? For myself, you know, I haven't, I stopped watching TV in the early 70s, it's, you know, it was 35 years ago, and it was a choice, it was a choice, because I felt back then even that television was doing something to my mind, and that's why I stopped. I said, I'm not going to waste my time, Good for you. you know, watching these things. So I do very minimal technology. I don't use my dishwasher. I don't, I don't use a microwave, even though they came with the house. They just sit there unused. You know, really low tech. I use the computer for, you know, very few things. I have to do some of my work on it. I do a newsletter when I write books and setting up events and something through email. But it's not something I look to to jump into every day because to me, I can't wait to go outside. Yeah. You know, I live in a beautiful place. I, I purposely picked a place where I had land, enough to manage, you know, and enough to enjoy and garden, and have campfires in my backyard and sweat lodges and parties on my deck, and, and that's how I socialize. I, I really take people and myself out in nature. So it really comes down to a choice. It does, nonetheless, if you look at the really large scale, if you're talking about children in particular being totally indoctrinated into the use of technology and I was noticing even in the, in, you go to a, a movie now in a theater and you'll have unlike even a few months ago certainly a year ago you got your ad to you know join up with Uncle Sam first of all is your recruitment ad followed by a, let's buy this really violent so nasty video movies, game right? for <laughs> Christmas or for the holiday season Annika for your children it's followed up with the very thing that's going to program them. Well, these are all programmings, and the important thing about any visual art, okay, anything that we start choosing to, you know, turn on and watch for entertainment, the brain, our brain waves change, and they immediately drop from, you know, a conscious state into a very unconscious state. And people do that because they don't know how to relax anymore. Mm -hmm. they don't, and no one's talking about anything meaningful, so they don't mm -hmm. know how to like discourse or just have fun without, you know, in, in deep inebriation or something like that. So it really comes down to people really getting consciously aware, making a choice. Um, you know, the pictures that are put before us are, are like living dreams. And they're forms of program. And, and so those pictures go in our brains and then we think that's reality. And especially when it's children, the nervous system of a child is not mature enough to handle the rapidity of the data that is coming through. And they think that the speed up of, of, of games and, and violence and how fast everything goes and how little it is, even though it's entertaining, mm -hmm. what's happening is, is that it's shutting down the perception. So that when you see people looking at some little device in the picture's this big, 
I had a bunch of nephews, and when they were really little, I'd walk into the living room, you know, instead of them being yelling and screaming like sometimes they would be and having a great old time, which would drive people crazy, but they were playing, it'd be quiet, totally quiet, and I'd look around, and I'd say, what are you guys doing? And they're all in a trance with a little thing this big, I guess they're called Game Boys. Mm -hmm. I never had kids, so I don't know. And they're pushing these little buttons, looking at these little pictures, and they're totally in a trance. They're in trance, totally. Yeah. Totally in a trance, because their brainwave shift. Yes. And you, they really have to shift to go down, to force your perceptions, which are out here, to go down to this little thing and stay there for hours and push these little things. What it's really doing is that they, don't, they can't see anything anymore. Then they come out, and then they're hyperactive because too much data has come in too fast, and their nervous systems are not developed to handle that. Until children reach, you know, there's these cycles, and every seven years, it's the Saturn cycle. So until children are seven, they really need no media at all.